Today we are looking at the art of Wassily Kandinsky and we're looking at the book The Noisy Paint Box and it says the colors and sounds of Kandinsky's abstract art. Kandinsky made abstract art which means that he didn't paint things that looked realistic. So he didn't paint things like houses, he didn't paint dogs or people, he painted shapes, lines, and colors and he actually listened to music a lot when he was painting. So let's take a look at what this says. It says that Kandinsky opened his paint box and began mixing the reds, the yellows, the blues. He heard a strange sound. The swirling colors trilled like an orchestra tuning up for a symphony. And as he grew older, he continued to hear brilliant colors singing and see vibrant sounds dancing. But was Vasya brave enough to put aside his proper still lifes and portraits and paint music? So he grew up learning how to paint things realistically. And he decided that he didn't want to paint like that. He wanted to paint shapes, colors, lines, and he wanted to listen to music and he could actually hear the colors um, and they sounded like music to him. So we're gonna be using our three primary colors today. We're going to mix them together to make new colors. And we are going to look at Kandinsky's concentric circles painting. Now, the reason why this book is called The Noisy Paint Box is because Kandinsky actually had something called synesthesia, which means that he could hear colors. And it sounds kind of strange to you if you can't hear colors, like I can't hear colors. Um, but when he got this paint box, he said, what's that sound? And the aunt said, I don't hear a thing. And Kandinsky listened as his brush stirred and swished. The swirling colors trilled like an orchestra tuning up for a magical symphony. And he said, mama, papa, what a noisy paint box. And they say, silly, stop being foolish because they can't hear the colors like Kandinsky can. So he had that special ability and he could hear the colors as he was painting. I just think that is amazing. This is the painting by Kandinsky that we are looking at today for our artwork. So we are going to be practicing mixing our colors to make green, we're gonna make orange, and we're gonna make purple. And we are going to paint these circles inside circles called concentric circles. And it's gonna be a lot of fun. I hope you enjoy it. What you're going to need is something to put your paint in. I grabbed this egg carton. We're going to have six colors. So you're gonna to wanna to have six spots for paint. I like to use egg cartons because then you can just throw it away when you're all done and you don't have to wash it. You're gonna need a water dish for rinsing your paintbrush and you'll need the three primary colors. Let's start by taking our bottles out. We're going to put a little bit of blue in two spots. Actually, let me think. We're gonna need it in three spots. Then we'll need yellow. And we'll need to make green. And we'll need to make orange. Then we need our red. So we're going to have to put a little bit in one of the blue spots to make purple. We'll need a little bit in a yellow spot to make orange and then some on its own. Okay, now we are going to actually fold our paper before we start painting on it. We're going to fold it in half and then in half again. Now we have four rectangles on our paper to put four circles. Now let's start with just a little bit of blue. And I'm going to put a dot in this one. I'm going to put a circle in this one. And let's put a circle in this one too, but I'm gonna make it a nice big one. There. 
Time to rinse our paintbrush. Now I'm gonna do a little bit of red. I'm going to paint a circle around this blue dot. I'm gonna put a red dot right in the middle of this one. And I'll paint a circle inside here. And let's put a little bit of red in this one too. Red. Uh oh. Okay, time to rinse. Now let's do some yellow. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit of yellow on this one too. Ooh. Wow. And let's put a yellow dot inside this one. And let's circle this one. Okay, time to mix up some colors. Rinse. And let's mix up our yellow and our red to make orange. Mix, mix, mix. It's got a lot of red tint to it, so I'm gonna grab some of the yellow that we're done with. I'm gonna mix that in too. I can even use this spot to see if I can get a lighter orange. There, now I have orange paint. Okay, let's add some orange to our picture. I'm going to put orange here. And here. Uh -oh. <laughs> then, let's put a little orange in between here. Now let's make purple. We're gonna stir the red and the blue together to make a purple. Wow, that turned out nice. Okay, I'm going to put purple in the background of this one. Now let's find another spot for some purple. Let's paint a circle around this one. And let's put some around here too. Okay, let's rinse our paintbrush. And now let's make green. Wow, that's a nice pretty green. Okay, I'm gonna paint this one with a green rectangle around it. Wow, okay, I like that. Now let's do a green circle. Awesome. Okay. Now we have to fill in the rest of these. So let's pick some colors to do that. I'm going to paint around this one. I'm going to do red. Mommy. Mommy. And around the last one, I'm going to do blue. Yeah. <laughs> there. 
there. I'll done.